200 miles an hour on a city street, but you know we may let you take it out to Ellington as well if you wanna if you wanted to purchase one of these. But uh, Mr. Hennessy mentioned that we have an activity coming up this weekend at Ellington. This will be the site of the fifth annual Arrows and Autos event. Uh, presented by the Texas Flying Legends Museum and Ellington Air Commerce Center. It's a family-friendly event. It brings the, some of the best of the transportation world, airplanes and automobiles, uh, to Houston's oldest airport. Admission is just $5. The event runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. And one of the popular attractions, as was mentioned, is the Houston Half Mile Shootout. Uh, Build is Houston's premier speed event. Uh, it is open to all automobiles and motorcycles. And uh, you, you come in, you, uh, for a relatively small amount of money, you can prove to all your friends and have bragging rights forever as to just how fast your car can go on a protected track, which is actually a, a runway out at uh, Ellington Airport. It's a safe and legal opportunity to really put the pedals in metal and see what you can do. Now, you're gonna have to go a long way to catch up to this uh, Venom GT behind me, but we'll give you an opportunity to do that. Now it's my honor to welcome Sean Chittam from Ellington, uh, the Ellington, from Ellington, the chair of Arrows and Autos. All right, and just like the mayor said, thank you for having us out. And we're uh, going to have Arrows and Autos coming this weekend. One of the things that about Arrows and Autos is that the event is a 100% charity event. So what we do is we're able to turn around and give 100% uh, of our proceeds back into the uh, Texas Lions camp and to the USO Houston. So up to date, we're uh, close to giving over a little over $100,000 just for the five years that we've been doing the event. So the event is not only the speed, it's also bringing in show cars. Uh, on a good day, hopefully sun shining, we'll have uh, close to 500 cars out there doing, uh, doing our show cars. The, uh, we have every variety of car. We'll have uh, hot rods, muscle cars, uh, nice exotic cars like we have behind us, as well as low riders, uh, everything. So when we say it's a family event, what we want to do is make sure that it is a family event, that everyone has the ability to come out and participate and have fun. The other thing with it is, is our general admission price is five dollars. So to come out that five dollars again, get turned around, goes right back into the charities and uh, we're able to turn around and make a, a good donation to those guys. So really when you come out, you're having fun, you're supporting those guys. So, uh, you know, everybody come out, have fun and we'll have a good event this weekend. I want to point out that uh, it's important for the Houston Airport port system to be connected into the communities in which our airports uh, rest. Uh, last weekend we had Hobby Fest out at Hobby Airport, another uh, fun family friendly activity. I was out there enjoying Hobby Fest and uh, some of the, um, actually it's the, the Super Guppy was out there. I had never seen the Super Guppy which is a NASA plane and as well as some intriguing uh, jets and uh, private aviation aircraft. This time we're out at Ellington. It's going to be an interesting weekend for the city of Houston. If you're into speed and fast cars, you can be out at Ellington. If you're into cars that have been decorated in, in a really intriguing manner, you can be at the Art Car Parade right here in downtown Houston. So all sorts of activities for vehicle lovers across this city. But in addition to wanting to make sure that Houstonians understand that we have a great airport system and an airport system that is engaged in community, we want to thank Arrows and Autos for working with us to put money to charity, but also provide an amenity to the citizens of Houston. And so guys, I thank you for being out here today. I hope folks continue to come up and check out the, the Venom GT Guinness World Record holder vehicle behind me. And uh, if members of the media have any questions about uh, either the world record or what's going on out at Ellington this weekend, we'd be glad to answer those questions. Uh, Mr. Hennessy, what do you have on the drawing board for your next production? Well, there might be a Venom GT2, a little more horsepower. <laughs> so, uh, we see the longer runway. We need to get over to Bush and see if we can uh, 
race some of those United planes, see if we can get down the runway faster. <laughs> Uh, again, these are this is a vehicle that is made right here in Texas and just specked right up the road uh, outside, just outside of Houston, and uh, proud to have them as a local Houston business and to promote what they're doing. And congratulations on this new record. <laughs>